Does volume matter if progress is the same? For example, someone can increase their bench press by five pounds per month on eight sets or 16 sets. So why would you want to do more work than you have to? My goal is efficiency. Like to me, that's not being very efficient. That's like asking a worker like, hey, we need you to work 12 hours today, but you can get the same amount done in eight hours. Who's going to want to stay? I mean, unless you, obviously you're getting paid for overtime, but in this case, you're not getting paid anymore. Mm. No worker is going to say, hey, yeah, I'll work four hours for free. You want to try to find the right dose where you get that stimulus and that's it. Like you don't need to do anymore. Oftentimes the bodybuilders, again, we're here. Here, and we want to progress like this, like we want to get to here yeah. tomorrow. So that's, a lot oftentimes it's like, I want to do more. I want to do more. I got to do more. I got to do more. So the analogy, like I kind of like to use at times, if you're digging a tunnel through a mountain and you know, we don't have machines to do this, like you just have a pickaxe, right? Pickaxe in your body. Like if you strike too hard, you can break the pickaxe, right? And if you strike too much during the day, what are you going to end up doing? Now you're going to be all blistered up. Your back's going to hurt. And then, so the next day you're not going to be very productive. You got to find a sweet spot of how much you can do in a, in a given training session in this case get that stimulus and then can you recover from it that's an even bigger question so it's always like the question is like how much volume should we do as so much as you can recover from i have no idea until you actually start exploring and you know you'll get the generalities out there 10 to 20 sets a week per body parts like maybe even start lower than that so instead of 10 maybe start at like six to eight and then see what the response is like give it more than a week give it three months at least because chances are if you're doing six to eight sets a week and you're seeing your loads go up, you're seeing your reps go up. Well, from that baseline that you started at, your volume went up through performance. Then the question is, okay, after three months, are you still able to progress? If yes, why do more set volume? Why do more exercise volume? Just run it until you plateau. And then when you plateau, then you ask yourself, why am I plateaued? Is it fatigue? If it is fatigue, like adding more volume, this is going to make you more fatigued. So and if you have a lot of energy, then it's like, okay, maybe you can do more. Okay. Now you're, you're plateaued. You got plenty of energy add more now like now instead of six to eight now maybe it's you're up to like eight to ten or it's like ten to twelve somewhere in that realm run that for a while but i don't know about you kenny but have you ever seen someone do 20 sets a week with a lot of effort and the, like really good quality and i'm gonna go out on a limb especially as a natural bodybuilder right right where no. your recovery ability is probably limited i'll say this you could do it but for me there was no progress really it was just getting tired maybe even accumulating some aches and pains that i rather not have and then also never seeing lifts go up to be fair at a rate that I could see if I dropped it by half, which I have, yeah. and I've seen benefit doing. So that's my personal experience since yeah. you, since you asked. Like personally, four exercises a session is just kind of like my sweet spot. Cause I have more than four, a typical upper day for a lot of people would be seven, eight, maybe nine exercises. Right. I get through half of that. And I'm like, you're done. I'm getting fatigued and mm -hmm. not just like physically, but like mentally I'm like getting tapped out. Cause I'm like, man, I still have five exercises to go. Then it's like, well, how am I going to get through this? I'm going to start holding back a little bit so I can get through the entirety of the workout. Where's the quality at that point? This is where it's like almost opposite what I said earlier. It's like a lot of bodybuilders are here and they're, they should be here. If you're here with so many damn exercises and so much volume and your quality is not there fatigue is more prevalent go here because mm. now your focus instead of being here it's here you're more lasered in you're more locked in so if i know i only have four exercises and i'm in the realm of two to four sets in exercise then chances are my effort level is going to be right where it needs to be. The proximity of failure is going to be there. And I'm not going to wipe myself out so much like where the next day I'm like useless. You know, I'm having a hard time recover or I'm just so tired and grumpy that now I'm the asshole dad and husband that's like moody all the time. This is great stuff. It makes you want to adopt a lot of these things that you've already learned from early. Well, I'm the, I'm in the mountain, right? Like I don't want to yeah. toot my own horn, but I would, I would consider myself, I don't know, like at the moment, but there was a point in time where I was top four at world like that's considered more of an elite physique. It's not the top, top, top physiques, but it's, it's considered elite. That's the, getting through the mountain. I didn't start at, you know, 14 years of age and go, okay, with this pickaxe, I'm going to get to elite in the world in one day or one year, two years. It's like, I got to slowly kind of chip away at this mountain. Sometimes when we think about the volume stuff, we just get to here with it. And we don't think from a broader scale. I remember there was a program that Eric wrote up for you. Was it a full body routine you were doing at one point mm -hmm. with Eric? Mm -hmm. What was yeah. your experience with the full body? You've always navigated back to upper lower. I guess that's more sustainable for you or you find that that's easier to set up as far as a bunch of factors. Yeah, but... I think at the time, I can't remember. I think at the time I was maybe, I think I was beat up. Like I was in a lot of pain, a lot of aches and pains. So.